I'm here at the Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. I am on Ponderosa Island. You look much better now. When I walked with you, you didn't look that good. Why was that? I don't know. This thing, maybe? I don't know. Maybe my eyes were better then. Oh. Can you smell it? Emerald, nice melons. Nice. Sorry. Thank I you. Had you had to. Okay, here's the secret. Seriously, how many of these do you use on a set? A lot. <laughs> these are not real boobs. <laughs> but I'm just going to say it, vagina. Good luck with that <laughs> making the air. May I see your abs? Oh, you want to see my stomach? All right. Here's your host, Lisa Joyner. I did talk to a lot of people before I came on the show. This is my one big shot, late night. I'm hosting the show. So I asked a lot of friends about advice. How do you host a late night talk show? This is what they said. What I like is when the host places both hands on my shoulders and stares at me the whole time. That's when I know they're listening. Uh -huh. Our senior did that. When your co-host says something dumb, all you have to do is <laughs> laugh at it. Lean over the desk a lot. So you just got to get loose. Got to be a loose woman. Should I be drunk? It wouldn't hurt. All right. Brad Pitt saved a life on a Sunday. He was at Dan Tannis. Come in, we need a Brad Pitt lookalike. Come on. All right, Brad Pitt lookalike. Uh, he was outside Dan Tannis smoking a cigarette. Oh, I forgot your cigarette. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Method acting. All of a sudden, this big SUV started coming on, to, careening on to the uh, to the sidewalk, right? Careening on to the sidewalk. We'll just have to use this. As a there was a girl in the way. There was a girl in the way. What did Brad Pitt do? Jake, show him. <laughs> Got her right out of the way. Two and a half men water. Because <laughs> sometimes when you're really thirsty, you want to drink two and a half men. <laughs> Oh, I'm not even going to go into <laughs> that one. <laughs> you like that? Is that one good? Is your passion taking you through? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> On camera, I'll give you $1,000. Right now, if you can drink a gallon of vitamin D milk and not throw up five minutes after you finish. Really? How's that working out for you? Mm. She's got the milk sweats already. <laughs> <laughs> You're scared, aren't you? You got a quarter down. You're Way to go. You're scared, aren't you? Okay, I've got time. I've got time. You got all the time. Let's just work. finish this interview. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, on prison break, Sarah and Michael meet up on a train and give in to their animal passion. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to Chicago with Lincoln Kellerman to confront the President of the United States because if you want to find the President, go to Chicago. Star Trek legend George Takei plays Hero's father. Takei said one of his biggest acting challenges was performing all of his scenes in Japanese, just like we kind of do in rehearsals. Totally. Three, two. Come on, Wap. Mi song? Watch this. Iyo koso. O genki desu ka, Lisa san? Hey, ja san wan? Utsuka yo i desu. My name is Lisa Joyner. I was born in El Cajon, California on New Year's Eve. An hour after my mother held me, she gave me up for adoption. I remember being told I was adopted when I was eight years old. And for some reason, I think I kind of knew, I looked a little different than my parents. So I was getting to an age where I thought, well, medically, I, I need to know what runs in the family. And I had all these questions, and people would ask me what I was. So fast forward to probably about five years later, and I was working at the Fox station in Los Angeles, and a viewer called me up and said, I know that you're adopted, and if you're really looking for them, I have somebody who can help you. There's just been a buildup my whole life. And you've kind of imagined it, but... And so I hired her, and for that week that it took, I've never known the kind of apprehension and excitement that I knew that week. And she called me up and she said to me, I think I found her. And I said, where? And she goes, five miles from your birth father. They've never seen each other since. But my searcher convinced her. She said, one of my clients is looking for you. I believe that she's your daughter. And Sharon said, if she was my daughter, what was the name she had at birth? And she said, Susan Michelle Rogers. And Sharon started weeping, and she said, that's my baby. Hi, Tim.
Tim. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. When Lisa showed up at my door, I was excited. I was a little nervous. I was anxious. Well, you know, Tim, I'm here because somebody is searching for you. Right. Your birth mother. Wow. Man, that's... Huh. It's a little hard, huh? Oh, I don't know, I got the chills. Oh, ecstatic. You know, as silly as it might sound, this, this one little letter with this handwriting just, just makes it so real. You know, I feel like I've missed out on so much. Sorry. It's OK. I'm crying right along with you. <laughs> it's a lot to take in. When you read the letter, she said she didn't earn the right to call you her son. I don't think she ever lost the right to begin with. You know, she might feel like she did, but I don't see that as the case. Good luck to you, Tim. All right, thank you. Can you tell me the proper way to salute? Um, I can, but... Could you? Sure. You think I could do it? Sure. You don't look <laughs> very confident. Let, let's see. Go ahead. Just wrap it up there. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, no. yeah. That's real good. <laughs> That's going to work. <laughs> That's why I need you. Okay, to oh, well done. That's it. I can't do any better than that. <laughs> you look amazing, by the way. Thank you. I have, believe me, and I'm saying this with the most respect because mm -hmm. you're a classy gal. Mm -hmm. I have worn out my pause button watching. <laughs> Seriously, my personal TiVo. I can't even, I can't even tape an end. It's all, it's all, it's all, Keep it on. it's completely rubbed out, right? It is rubbed yes. out. It is. It just says, ah, ah. on it. How appropriate. What would you say are your strengths and your weaknesses? According to my mother, uh, my strengths are my hair. What adjectives would you use to describe yourself? Strong, stealthy, dangerous. I am reliable. Collapsible. I'm brief.